Hey guys, welcome back to the Project Zomboid Worm Guy playthrough. He's the Wormadon, like an ancient Greek warrior. Uh, I, I put the tree of knowledge in this thumbnail, and I'm gonna explain why in a second, because it involves XP farming and something that's completely... Uh, not really broken about the game, but just a shortcut that saves you time. And I think I'm gonna save my Pimp My Ride video for later on this cop car, because I've been looking at the car itself, and it tells a pretty sad story. Uh, can we go into vehicle mechanics really quick? Just check this guy out. So, yeah, he... He... The... the she... What, is a car a he or a she? Whatever it is, it's not in good shape. Because this thing's headlights are out. It's more than just the headlights. It's basically, everything is about to break. This car is pretty much about to disintegrate into thin air. So I took out all the gas. I, fortunately, it wasn't leaking because I did speed up time with it out. And, uh... I didn't get any bad results, but anyway, I'm going to explain something on XP farming right now. Uh, not really cheap, just kind of saves you time, because there's still a lot of dangers here. But if you aren't interested in that, just skip ahead, because it's stupid and you'll hate it. Um, anyway, for those of you who are still here, uh, I talked to Timothy and John in the comments, who actually had a fantastic tip. So before I had said that XP farming could happen like this... And I didn't have a wall in front of me, but some people did some experimentation. It turns out you could build a fence or a window here. And that's going to keep you in place instead of sliding you forward. So I did manage to get the next level of fitness and strength by just speeding up time. And can we just... Okay, so he's not behaving right now. You just got to push, speed up time. And then you could actually aim around and... For some reason, I'm just screwing it up right now. But yeah, you can gain XP really, really fast like that. And it's not like your character is not passing time, because we're actually getting kind of underweight now, I hate to say. Uh, we're 77, which is pretty close to the lower threshold of normal. Uh, so, winter is coming too. I can't do any trapping because I can't read books. So, I am kind of concerned about hunger. I knew somebody who lived in this game for four years... Uh, and he died of hunger after four years. Like, of all the things, having killed thousands of zombies, you, you think something else would have killed him by that point. But no, if you go down to 35 kilograms, you start to get emaciated, and you start taking damage over time. Uh, it's different from the hunger, but I, I don't want that to happen, and I see that as being the longest, or the greatest long-term threat. That or running out of cigarettes, uh, because the smoker trait does not go away. Anyway, um, let me see, berries... Oh yeah, I discovered a new breed of berry. Uh, actually, a lot of new breeds of berries. They're, I tested them out, though, and they're not poisonous. I don't even think that one, which a lot of people think is the only poisonous one. And I may be wrong about this, but I think that one's healthy for me, at least in this playthrough. Anyway, I've got more worms. I'm just going to continue eating those, as I explained. Uh, getting cold, so I'm going to get cold soon, and I'm going to need to bring that antique stove back to my base. So, for today, what I really want to do is get the next level of carpentry by just going around and dismantling stuff that I find in the neighborhood. And then, hopefully finding some car parts so that I can start to play Pimp My Ride on the cop car, or any other car. Because uh, we're going to need Electrical 1 and Mechanics 2 if we want to start hot wiring. Oh, and check this out now. So we can speed up time. And also, if we hold down the run key, when you guys told me, you can actually start running, like, in fast motion. It, I'm not even pressing anything right now, I'm just holding down the key, but kind of a different way to control the game, so I might be doing some of that later. Uh, what else? We emptied out the gas. We're gonna get food. Oh yeah, we gotta find some actual substantive food so that we can start gaining weight again, because this is starting to become a problem. That and my base is a filthy mess, so I'm gonna try to clean it today. I'm thinking of, like, this guy... Like, Worm Man has developed this, like, mania around him, and I, I, I feel like that to live up to it, he's gonna need to build, like, the Worm Lair and the Worm Mobile. So I figure that that's probably a good goal at this point. He's survived, like, one fiscal quarter, so that's really good for a character who had all negative traits. But now I'm thinking it's gonna be, like, a year, you know? I don't think it would be so bad to go a year with this guy, but, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're going to get there because of the cold and the hunger, so let's just try to take care of that. Carpentry and maybe some food and better gear today. All 
All right, I guess my character hasn't fought a zombie in a while because we've killed only 52 so far. And I think, what did I say, we would get 50 at the at the last video and it turned into like 20. Still not bad for one video, but... Okay, I think we should be able to fight one with fair ease now. I'm not even going to speed through this because I want to see if... Like the normal way I fight is enough. The pipe... You know, the hammer is actually OP now. I've tried it out and some of you guys are saying, try the hammer, try the hammer. And I was like, nah, the hammer's never been good. And then I tried it out and it was giving me all these one hit like our one-shot kills to the head so it's it's actually a fantastically strong weapon now but um all right another house more carpentry the problem is that carpentry just goes up so snailishly slow that we've taken apart entire houses we've taken apart three entire houses which would normally be more than enough uh but does, are we there he is okay he's going he's just really not dexterous so he's going to need another 125, and then at that point, I think we're going to take back the antique oven. I was mostly worried about heat and not about food, but then I might start to want to think about organizing my house and then heading west so that we can get food from the nearby town, because I'm going to need a lot of processed food if I want to gain back this weight. Uh, I regret to say that I might end up having an underweight trait for a little while. It was good for now because now I can do things like hop fences and we'll be much better off when we go into towns. So this was not wasted effort, um, but still it's not, it's, it's not great. And getting this carpentry skill is just, it's, it's mainly just a grind. So we have to do it. I guess one tip to new players is just take apart every single TV and every single bed that you find because that's the fastest way to gain a lot of experience in electronics probably the most plentiful electronics items have also been taking part radios and especially beds just because they give you a lot of materials and another thing that i'm doing right here is you might notice that as i'm going through uh i'm not picking up any of the log or planks that's because the planks are just way too heavy so i'm bringing back all the nails to my base and i can always make axes back there and i've got a saw so i can make as many logs or planks as i want but it's hard to find nails. Uh, Ghoul King and I did try to do a playthrough out in nature once. We just like tried to see if it would be feasible. And we pretty much run out of things to do really quickly because we run out of nails. Uh, and there's just no nails in nature. That's probably the one item in Project Zomboy that runs out the fastest. Or if you're trying to do like a huge construction, you're better off just spawning in some nails because there just aren't enough in the world. Especially on multiplayer servers. Okay, I'm going to... Uh how much was this entire house worth? That was everything in the house. I just played like... <laughs> like negative Santa Claus to this house. I don't even know. Just take apart your house. You wake up on Christmas morning. What the fuck happened to our house? And now... Okay, there we go. Walkie-talkie. We'll dismantle that. And what are we at? 225. Okay, so that entire house is worth 100. We should do it with like one more house. So then we'll take the antique oven. So I was also thinking, just because I've been taking apart so many electronics, wouldn't it be cool if, even though that I'm illiterate, I could just explore the electronics tree in this playthrough? Because there are some crazy good items that you can make with the electronics tree. Um, I used to own a multiplayer server, <laughs> and sometimes people would crash cars uh, with the siren on. And the main reason I don't do that in this, because it is a good strategy for looting, uh, but the problem with it is that it tends to lag the chunk or the, uh, the cell that it loads into. Um, what was I saying? But the way that I would take it out, because I had to kill a horde of, like, 200 zombies as an admin, I would just spawn in a bunch of pipe bombs, and it was- the blood was everywhere, it was disgusting. Uh, but it was really, really effective. So I figure, if I start to come up on any big hordes, and there are some permanent debuffs with this character where he's just not gonna ever be able to fight, uh, in a big group, unless if I find, like, godlike weapons like katanas, uh, I may as well start making some electronic implements, either that or molotovs. He could still do all of that stuff, even though that he's illiterate. It's just that he can't find a lot of the recipes, so he'll never trap in the winter, for example. Alright, we'll finish this off, and then go back. Alright, I just made carpentry. Uh, it's a terrible rainstorm, but unfortunately I do have enough light to get back in that I'm gonna feel sort of safe. 
We'll get back that antique oven and then we'll organize our house and then we're gonna have to start making a run out for food So I mean, let's go over basic needs food water shelter. We've got water covered by our well food We could always dig up worms from the ground ultimately I do need like that's not gonna that's not gonna save me forever though because they're only I think 25 calories per worm and I'd have to dig I, th I don't think I can dig like you, you know what celery is like it's one of the only foods that if you chew it and swallow it then you're actually burning more calories than you are like getting from the food so <laughs> at least that's my basic understanding of celery um, but worms I think in this game are more or less the same because for all the effort that you go to dig up a worm you're probably burning more calories than you actually you know use or then you actually get from it. So I am going to need to find an alternate food source at some point. It's not like worms are the be-all and end-all. They've just kept me alive for a good few months. But I have been gradually losing weight. And what are we at right now? We're closer to... I'm going to have to just start doing walk to all the time. Because look at all the new saplings that are growing up in the middle. Okay, well, we're 76. So we don't want to fall below 75. So if I can help it, I want to find a lot of processed food before I fall to that. Because then I am going to start getting that underweight debuff. And it's going to start to undo some of the strength experience that we've made. Uh, if you do go too low, I also believe that you can start to backpedal. Uh, and your character will actually lose fitness. I may be wrong about that, but pretty sure it's happened to me. Um, there is some sort of like memory there. I don't believe that that applies to strength, though. But if, if somebody knows about that and correct me, and if I'm being an idiot, uh, say so in the comments. Honestly, like, <laughs> the more eyes I get on these videos, the better, in general, the quality of the information I give is... But I still say stupid stuff from time to time, so don't be afraid to call me out. Anyway, okay, let's go get that oven. Okay, one good sign that the weather isn't changing too drastically yet, or at least the temperature, uh, is the fact that the rain hasn't turned to snow at all yet. And I have seen October snows in this game before. Don't know if they, if they totally don't happen in September, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if somebody had a cold front once and it did happen. Uh, oddly enough, I haven't been getting too much from this wet debuff, but I don't want to risk it too much because if you do stay wet and you get cold, I believe you can start to get sick or some combination of the two. Uh, so I might even just want to rest in here for a bit longer before we go get that antique stove. No use getting sick because you can get pretty bad. Alright, we're finally at the antique stove or the antique oven, whatever it is. And now we should be able to pick this up. All we need is hammer, and we get the antique oven. So now we should be able to grab that, and then I might even be able to... <laughs> this is going to seem counter... Wait, how much does it weigh? 20. Okay, so that I can't fit that... There are certain backpacks that you could fit that into, though, as far as I know. It may have changed, though. <laughs> Putting a stove in your backpack. Like the, like the kid with a really big lunch box in third grade, you know? <laughs> All right. So we're extremely heavy load. I just want to make sure I don't die from carrying back this stuff. Now nah, we'll be all right. Okay, we're going to reinstall this in our house. And it's basically going to function as an indoor campfire. Uh, this should keep us safe throughout the window. Uh, throughout the winter. But I'm going to want to cover up the windows. Uh, I'm going to need to barricade them all. Because I'm pretty light on my insulation knowledge. But, um, yeah, we don't want any, like, big drafts coming in in the winter. Otherwise, we could still freeze to death. And I don't... I don't even know about uh, refueling it. I'm going to have to learn a lot about it as I go along. So if you have any tips with it, let me know. Um, but we're going to start to reorganize the house now because we got to. Okay, we're back in the house. We're going to place down the antique oven. I, I want to put it somewhere cozy. I think a corner would be good. Put it right there. I don't know if, like, the location that you put it in actually affects the heat output or from, like, uh, the areas nearby or if it just hits the room. But I figure putting it in my own bedroom is probably the best. And in real life, I know that insulation works by having pockets of air between things, but we don't have any of that right now. Eventually, I am going to want to start to build my own house. 
Uh, because I'd rather be on the second floor than the first floor. This entire place still hasn't been safe. We've just been lucky that no wandering zombies have come around. And I've also been pretty good at, you know, killing off the local population. Um, it is incredibly dark in here, too. I'm... I don't know if there's anything that I can do about that, though. I may just be resigned to a life in darkness. Uh, and I also grabbed a couple pillows from nearby, too. I don't know if you noticed that I took these into my inventory. Uh, but as you get better, you can start to craft... Uh, where is it? It's not in this menu. Should be in here. Or is it under furniture? Should be under here. Yeah, bed. So we needed... A mattress. Oh, we actually have to craft a mattress. I forgot about that. But we're going to need four carpentry. And I'm thinking I'm just getting to the point where I'm going to make my own mattress. Unless if we can go upstairs right now and just bring the bed down here. Uh, you know what? I may I may chance it at this point. Like, if we don't get it, it's not the end of the world. Chance to break 52.5. You know what? Let's give it a shot. Because I can always just make my own bed down there. Okay, it looks like it did not break. Um, large oak bed, three out of four. One. Out Wait, did it break? Should be in four pieces? I can't remember whether three quarters designates... Screw it. We, we may end up with half a bed. <laughs> Rarely, if ever, do I end up having to move a bed, though. Yeah, at some of your guys' requests, or just sometimes cases, uh... cries out in disgust, I have started to clean up the house so I'm just gonna walk back fast and I'm gonna eventually have to clean the yard out because it's becoming really really awful either that or just like fence off a small area that I'm gonna tend so that I have a little garden and people don't go crazy because this entire area is gonna become a forest pretty soon <laughs> like it's crazy how much the game takes back over time and this has only begun I mean we're only two months in think about it what it's gonna look like a year from now um, I would take this stuff apart, but I'm gonna need, uh, different items. What is it? I need a... Oh, actually, yeah, I do need a wrench to take apart that, but... I've started to, uh, take away some of the clutter. Eventually, I will take apart the stove, uh, because I can't really even use this anymore. It's just got a mutton... Rot, eh, rotten mutton chop from before. Uh, this I should have moved from this spot. I will later, but, uh, pretty much what I've done is just put everything into one or two containers. And from there... I started barricading this window too. I decided I'm going to start using the front door. Could use a sheet rope in time, but uh, actually I can't even remember why. Oh yeah, it was too claustrophobic up there. We're going to need to build like a whole new house if we want to get the upper floor room uh, to not have that claustrophobic trait. Um, let me see. Okay, we are starving now, so I'd better... W Ooh, I am starving to death. Okay, that does take a few days, so that's not so urgent, but... Yeah, we're going to need to dig up some more worms. And at this point, as much as I'd love to spend more time around the house doing construction, because that's probably one of my more favorite parts of the game, um, I'm going to need to find some processed food. So I think after this, we're pretty much going to make a straight shot out west. There really hasn't been much time to rest here. Aside from the time that I had to take to train, um, my character is now only at decent strength, but I don't want to lose any of that fitness that I just gained. It would be pretty ironic if we had trained all that. And then we just lost it right away because we started going way underweight. But I think we are at 75, so we should have, I don't know, maybe like another day or two of that debuff. Um, or having that buff. And if we could gain, I don't know, like 5 kilograms. I'd like to keep my target weight around 80. Uh, but I am I am also equally worried about, uh, equally worried about losing those cigarettes. Um, or more so just not finding enough matches and lighters. Okay, let's just see if we found any worms yet. We don't want to starve to death. Okay, we're going to eat these. Probably rest one more day. Get down our hunger. Eat a bunch of worms. I think I have enough antidepressants left for one round of hitting that sadness away. <laughs> and then once we do that... Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a search for cigarettes and processed food. Those, ironically, they're going to help us a lot right now. Okay, now, that's probably a record number of Moodles I've ever had. Uh, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 10 of them. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna sleep in a chair. Hopefully we'll stop getting this cold one. And then, I don't know, I guess tomorrow I'll head out. I'm not gonna take a cigarette today. Uh, actually, I'm gonna need a cigarette if I want to get a good night's sleep, so I'm gonna need to have that. But yeah, we are really quickly running through those. It's, it's almost like the more I play, the more quickly I bypass time. 
because I'm not so focused on these small scale encounters. But yeah, we are starting to get cold now. And I got a nasty cold. <laughs> okay, so I stayed out in the cold too long. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, I'm gonna need to figure this out. This is actually much worse for us because that's gonna be a debuff. Speed and healing now severely reduced as if they weren't enough already. So now we have yet another Moodle to add to the current list. Uh, I'm gonna take tissues because those are gonna keep us quiet. I think I- do I need to equip it? I'm gonna equip secondary, see if that goes away. Okay, I- put, <laughs> I'm like- oh, there we go. Okay, so now that is working. We're gonna barricade a little bit more. I don't know, am I gonna be forced to like stay here a few more days? I, I don't want to, but I mean, I could afford to lose weight if I'm stuck at home with a cold, and I don't want it to get really bad. Man. <laughs> a cold was not what I expected in the middle of September, exposed to nobody. I guess I need to be more careful when I go outside. Chilly, just a bit chilly. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out this stove. I'll be right back in one second. Unfortunately, I don't think antibiotics are gonna do anything for this cold, so I've just gotta wait for it to pass through. Uh, we've, we're stuck with a nasty cold, which pretty much just means that we're making more noise. Uh, I think that might have like a combat debu uh, debuff or something else too. But right now, we've got this problem. I'm going to need a lighter whenever I want to turn on this stove. So for yet another thing, I'm going to need a source of fire. Oh, wow. Damn, that's actually awesome. <laughs> I did not know that that did that. That's, that's pretty nice though. So we've got a nice red glow going on in our house. I've got my chair that I've slept in for two months, uh, and I don't honestly feel like going out, because if I have a cold, I'm going to make a lot of noise around the zombies. It's still raining, too, so I don't want it to get any worse. But, yeah, I'm just going to have to lay around the house for a few days, I think. Respect this thing. Okay, so I just wanted to show something, uh, because I'm understanding the fire the more I go through. I have done campfires before, uh, not really extensively, but if I stay out in this room for too long... Yeah, I am starting to get the chili. And now if I stay over here, I do get warm again. So I think this is all throughout this room definition, and this hallway is probably a different room. You can kind of see how the entire room definition... Um, you know, maybe that's just a light source? I don't know, maybe that's a shader thing. Uh, but it just seemed kind of odd to me that it cut off so suddenly right here. Anyway, I'm gonna try to move around this furniture into, like, better feng shui, because having a fridge right there for my main room, just, it doesn't feel homey anymore, and I wanna make it, I wanna make it so. Okay, we are starting to perpetually get the cold, uh, status, so I think, at this point, I've got to find some better clothes. Uh, I didn't consider this too much earlier, but winter's coming on really, really fast. Uh, we're very hungry, and now I'm running into a new set of problems I hadn't exactly anticipated, so I don't know if worms are really going to be the be-all in it. And though I'm starting to think that starting out obese might have served as an advantage. Yeah, we're getting stout now. Oh, wow, we're actually strong. So we have a positive trait now. Out of shape, still slightly out of shape, but yeah, now we're getting underweight. I guess that must activate at the lower end of 75, because right now, I thought 75 was still normal weight, but we're going to have to take a hit for a while. I don't want to go back into fighting with this cold, uh, and yeah, I'm just going to kind of bypass through the rest of this cold, because I, I don't want that to play out too much. Anyway, I did find out one thing about the stove, though. I think I'm just going to keep on fueling it with, at least as long as it's cold or we're still in this part of the year. Oh, shit, the fire. Okay, so, I'm starting to notice now, because I've not done a lot of cold in this game. Like, I rarely, if ever, do I make it through this far. I'm surprised that this character has made it this far. But now we're starting to deal with the fact that, uh, we're gonna need a lot more lighters, matches, and just anything to get a fire started. Because, uh, if I freeze to death this winter, that will not end well for me. I could just keep on adding fuel, but then I'm gonna spend the entire winter pretty much just babysitting this fireplace. Which wouldn't be... Wouldn't be awful. I mean, we could we could do it because we've got a lot of wood out there, but I'd rather get our other stats up. And I'm just thinking of how underfit and lightweight my character would get at that point. Um, in the spring, he'll only be able to forage to it, so it's not like we're going to be able to keep it up with trapping. But, let's just see. Yeah, we can keep on adding a lot of this unusable wood in. Fortunately, this is going to take care of our trash problem.
Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of an experiment here to see if when I go to sleep, uh, my fire is going to stay lit. Because if I have to go to sleep and then put another fire on all the time... Okay, so I can get through a sleep and still have the fire going. That's good. Uh, because I may need to go through this winter without using up too much of my lighter. I need lighter and matches for cigarettes and for fires. So this makes... I mean, some people have said use smoker because it's a good trait, but more and more, the more and more I play it, the more I think it's a really, really bad negative stacking effect uh, because it takes away from your be from your ability to deal with the cold, um, you know, effectively. So we're gonna want to find some matches because I've heard that those are used up at a lower, like at, at you know, a slower rate. Uh, but I'm just surprised that I haven't recovered from the cold at all. I guess it's because of all my other stuff, the hungry, the hunger. Uh, the depression. <laughs> the hunger, the depression, and the tiredness are probably not helping in any way. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep on digging for more worms. Uh, and then, as soon as we can, we're gonna wanna find better clothing, because I feel like that this shouldn't be happening so fast. I'm just gonna go take a quick check on my character. How's my temperature? So... Hmm. Let's look at our insulation. That's low, so pretty much everywhere we're at pretty low insulation. Okay, we're gonna need to deal with that. And I might need to take off this mask and put on, like, some sort of Eskimo, some sort of Eskimo gear, if we can find it. Uh, and definitely gloves. There's something wrong with one of my shoes, too, apparently. How come it's only on one shoe, but not the other? Okay, I have no idea about that, but we're gonna need to do some tailoring if we can find anything. <laughs> like, the whole temperature system is probably gonna kill me faster than anything else. Okay, I actually managed to get a good night's sleep, and I didn't wake up with that, um, with that tiredness. So, I think now... Antidepressants, I'm pretty much alright without that. And it didn't look like there were too many zombies further away, but once the rain stops, I'm gonna go back out. For now, I'm just gonna dig up a ton more worms, just so I have some sort of food source, uh, in case if everything goes to crap. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna go back out. I've got a tissue. I might even have one more in here. I'm just gonna make a quick trek of my crates. Um, not in there. And actually not in there. So it might have been in one of the houses. I might be able to pick one of those things up. Uh, but I think we're gonna head back to the Pony Romo, see if we can find any warmer gear on any of these zombies. And we're just trying to gear up for the cold. And we're gonna try to have to gain some weight back now, which is a pretty difficult process if- I mean, especially at this point now, because we can't take advantage of, like, early game stakes or anything like that. I mean, to be fair, if you start off, like, emaciated or something like that, you could just eat a bunch of hamburgers at the beginning, and it'll take a while, but if you manage to get lucky with the power, you might be able to get back up to a safe weight within not too much time. Um, let's see. I'm gonna walk there. Okay, so at this point, it's pretty much just a trip west, and my character is stronger, so he should be able to fight decent-sized groups, um, or at least at least two or three at once without embarrassing himself. But um, yeah, there's there's more stuff I'm gonna need for the next future for the uh, for the months coming up. Okay, I did manage to find a jacket and a better sweater, but now I'm gonna have to fight some zombies, so let's test out the new- he's practically a new man now. Um, I don't doubt that he could handle two, maybe three in combat, but it's gonna be significantly better than it was before. We won't be seeing a hundred stops anytime soon. Um, the main problem now is just the pacifist. Uh, he's not gonna gain skill with one type of weapon for a really long time. Like, he'll pretty much have level one efficiency for- for as long as we know him. He's just, he might not even level up at all. He might get one level we'd be lucky for, but now it's just a search for a katana and maybe pole arms. Um, I'm probably not as well off as I could be with this, but I think I'm fairly decent with mechanics now, so I'm just gonna keep at it. One thing you're gonna see me start to do now more is sprint, uh, and that's because my character hasn't been able to sprint pretty much at all for the entire playthrough, so his sprint stat has remained at a measly one. Maybe, maybe we'll get up to two, um, but it'd just be a nice thing to get, because if you get really good sprinting, you can get out of some tough situations. Um, and it used to be that you could pretty much just run your way through everything, but now, oh, wow. I'm pretty sure that you can sprint faster, but it's harder to dodge because you can bump into enemies. 
So, what are we at right now? High exertion. I don't really trust this, but for some reason that guy's... Okay, now he's coming at me. I gotta be mindful, though, of the fact that I'm attracting even more than usual. And this is probably the max number I'd attract at any time, because I'm sick. And I've got the, um, conspicuous debuff. Actually, come to think of it, I'm not gonna use a spear, because one reason why I'm out here is to collect clothing. So it's a good reason to use a blunt weapon, because that means that any zombies that I kill, uh, I'm not going to affect their clothing, so it'll generally be in better condition. If I use anything that stabs, uh, I'm going to rip the clothing when I kill them. So if I happen to find a bunch with jackets on, I, I definitely won't want to use that. Ah, come on. Ah, oh, man. It would be really valuable at this point to get 10 cooking, but there's no way my character is ever going to get to 10 cooking. Unless, where is he now? Nah, he's only at one. He'll, he'll never be able to cook rotten foods. He'd have to live for years if we wanted to do that. Uh, but, you know, uh, nah, I don't think he could make it for years. I just don't think there's enough matches in the world <laughs> to keep him alive. I'd run out of matches earlier. That was a, that's a big problem. Okay, let's do... Um, replace t-shirt with t-shirt. And that's fine. It looks like we aren't finding much of anything here. I'm going to have to go around for processed food, though, and I don't think I'm going to find much here because this is farmer's market territory. Um, anyway, I might just have to end it right about there. But what, oh, one other thing was that you guys told me that I forgot about the trunk, so I have to check the last car's trunk, too. Oh, what? 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 Do you see what's sticking out of the zombie? Oh, uh, let's hope it's in good condition. That's like Jesus just sent it right to me. Just like, here, man. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> That's insane. I can't believe that I found a katana lodged in a zombie. <laughs> That's nuts. And it's in fantastic condition. Okay, I'm gonna... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attach it to my back. I'm probably not gonna use this thing for a little while, though. As, as, unless, if I, unless if I get into really tough situations. Only because the maintenance skill hasn't gone up. Uh, and I, I gotta get my maintenance skill up if I don't want to destroy this thing. But damn, I now am wielding a katana. This is pretty much full build. Worm man. <laughs> Worm man out. No. That's insane. There was... I didn't even... I've never even seen that happen before. I didn't know that somebody could have a katana lodged in their chest. But... I mean, I still need food. This doesn't, <laughs> doesn't change my overall problems. Okay, so let's check out this cabin. This isn't so game-breaking, because we're, we're fairly decent in combat right now, and I still wouldn't even use it, because I want to get better clothing off of this. Though maybe I could practice on other ones. Ah. Sa. Uh, it's, it's, it, it can only be a good thing. Let's celebrate. Alright, found a double-barrel shotgun in this... There is a lot of good stuff over here. There's another screwdriver, I'll take that. I still have yet to get my stabbing uh, animation down, but apparently some people can use knives really well now. Um, okay, shit, there is one right out there. They're probably hearing me a lot more from the cold. Um, I should open that door too, because I am in danger right now. If another one comes along, they'll pile up on the door, and I can't even escape in here, so... Like, no reason to get stupid at this point, just because, just because we found a bunch of good stuff. But let's give it a test run. One, two, three, four. You know what, let me get out of the doorway. I'm not gonna ruin this thing's weapon condition, but it is cool. Welding mask, katana wielding, worm man, worm eating. Not a man eating worm, but a worm eating man. And how is the condition now? Still probably fine. I don't know what the conditions are on these things, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were, like, flimsy. Maybe I get, like, a knockoff replica. Wow, we are not too effective. Well, that's because we've also got all these debuffs. I'm probably just gonna head home and end it there at this point. Uh, I'm gonna need to wash it, too. Unless if- I don't know what's better, a bloody katana or a, a non-bloody katana. But it definitely reminds me of Uma Thurman from Kill Bill. Okay, I'm attracting way too many out here, so I'm just gonna run home. Uh, I'd say that's pretty much enough for one day. Though, look at the trees. They're starting to change color. Like, this game is so goddamn beautiful. Um, and I don't even think... I don't know if there's something messed up with my renders, but sometimes they get, like, slightly grainy. So, if you can help me with that, I'd love it. But, uh, honestly, this game is, like, pixelated perfection. It's just so pretty. Alright, so let's just recap. What have we done today? 
Uh, we got up our fitness and strength. We started to get down to a lower weight now, and we're going to have to gain weight. Uh, it's changing to winter. What else? We want to get our maintenance up. We still want to do a lot of other stuff with skill gaining because these are still like just decently good. These are decently beginner, decently good beginner stats, um, but by no means are these good stats. He's still fairly weak. He still has a hard time in combat, but we just found a god item. We found the katana. Uh, and we did manage to get the wood stove in here, so we're kind of covered for the winter. And I think I'm going to need to do a lot of pack muling because I'm going to need to bring all of the wood from over there. Or I'm going to need to do foraging in the woods. And I, I realize now, too, that I can forage for materials in the winter, so I might, I might just have to babysit this thing for a long time. Uh, but it is going to keep me warm. The fire can stay going for that amount of time. I also have bundled up in layers, too, so let's just check out this. Yeah, so we've got high insulation on our chest. We can figure something out with our head. I'll probably regrow a beard. I don't know if beards affect your insulation. I imagine the amount of depth in this game, eventually they will if they don't already. Which I guess would be an incentive to have a character with hair, because then you could, you know, choose whether or not to cut it off. Um, and we developed a cold. But, uh, pretty eventful day, and I'm pretty happy with what happened. Um, yeah, as always, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any tips, I'm probably encountering a lot of new things here that... Uh, I haven't seen before for sure, so if you have any tips or want to call me out or just give me a tip or anything, uh, feel free to do so down in the comments. And thanks for watching. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.